So my best friend for my bastard deadbeat brother. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a fair trade. I realize I haven't been a very good brother. Oh, yeah? What tipped you off? I deserve all of that. But please, Kim, just let me atone for all my mistakes. Mistakes? I'm sorry, did you mistakenly frame me for a murder that you committed? I'm sorry. I wish I could take it all back. Uh, Look, I, I just lost Aubrey. I, I wasn't seeing straight. I, but now I know where I went wrong. Oh, somewhere around the time that you killed the Mark? No, no. When you and I went our separate ways, you got to admit, we, we made a pretty good team. Made some pretty great cons, made some good money. Yeah, we did okay. We could do it again. Except for the fact that you're in there and I'm out here, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Yeah, well, if you bust me out... Actually, I've heard from Cutter. What? He's already out. No. He called from prison wanting me to come rescue him. And? And I hung up on him. So if things weren't already over between us, they definitely are now. Look, I'm sorry. I know he was important to you. Yeah. Well, until he decided he couldn't possibly become a law-abiding citizen. I mean... I'm not saying that I'm St. Aubrey or anything. There are things I've done in my life that I'll never live down, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try. And with Cutter in the picture, I wouldn't stand a chance. With you, though... Look, Aubrey, I... No, it's okay. You don't have to say anything. You've got Gigi back, and I know what that means. That any future you and I had together is kaput. <laughs> so, this is good. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about that tape! Natalie, Marty's therapy session. Mm -hmm. I listened to it. She told her therapist that she messed with Liam's paternity test. Brody is not Liam's father. John is. Yes, I know. Oh, you do? Yes, I found out about a month ago when I was about to marry Brody. You married Brody? No, no. He admitted that he knew Liam wasn't his son and I called off the wedding. Oh, so you and John can get back together. No, John and I are not getting back together. Why the hell not? You know, I wouldn't, uh, you know, celebrate just yet. Detective, I know you saw her. Believe it or not, uh, Gigi Morasco is alive. Yeah, yeah, she looks good. Yeah. So, there's no murder case without a victim. Well, but we have one of those. And Morasco's still dead. Her name's Stacy, not Gigi. You're not seriously thinking of booking Jack for the murder of Stacy Morasco? Well, that's certainly an option. Detective, do you mind if I ask Jack to go outside for a moment? You and I have a few things to discuss. John and I, we keep getting our, our wires crossed. You know, every time we try to talk, it just, just happen. What is there to say besides, I love you? I love you, too. It's complicated. No, it's not. Trust me. Natalie, I have been away from Shane and Rex for a very long time. If I had not run in to Rex in Texas, I might never have seen them again. Exactly. You know, everybody thought that you were in this horrible accident, and then fate just threw you and Rex back together. But with John and I, I mean, we can't even have a simple conversation. We work in the same building. Oh, sweetie, that's crap. And you know it. Fate didn't exactly make it easy for Rex and me. But we finally got our chance, and you will too. And when you do, don't waste a single moment. This is your chance to finally get back together with the man you love. You might not get another. Let's see, my son is getting antsy. What? No, I'm, I'm good. Go. Go be with your family. Go be with Rex. And have your happy ever after you deserve it. And thank you for the advice. It won't do you any good if you don't take it. Wait, please. There's something I have to say to you. Why not drop this case, John? Nora won't be able to try it, so let it go. Well, you know, I think I'll let Nora decide that. You see, a woman's still dead as a result of your client's actions, Counselor. Uh, no, Detective. She's dead because the sister she was trying to murder fought back. The chain of events that occurred when Jack locked Gigi in that basement were interrupted when Stacy opened that door. So why don't you stop focusing on a non-case and get Todd behind bars for killing my husband? 
Since when is Taya not your go-to gal for legal rescue, huh? She's been a little off her game lately. Maybe that's because her brother murdered her husband. No, you know, the last time I saw Taya, she seemed to... Well, she was very upset. It's Tomas called Blair. What are you doing? Get away from me. Like, you give a damn about me or Victor's baby. It is hard that someone I felt very close to, someone I trusted, someone I defended, someone I stood by, that someone like that could do this to me. That someone I once loved could kill my husband. Taya knows I killed Victor. Taya knows what I did to Victor. How'd she figure it out? She didn't hear from Tomas. Baker's got eyes on him 24-7. And she's been busy lately. She's been pregnant. She's been hanging out with John. John McBain. Why would I think you don't care? Um. Hey, hey, hey. Remember what the doctor said about stress? Not good for the baby. John suspects me. Or he's been talking to Louie. John told Taya. Now Taya knows this can't happen. Not now, not now. I am so close. God. Yeah. There is no case against Jack. No. No. Jack terrorized Shane Marasco for months. We have that documented. Jack attempts to lure Shane to that basement to do God knows what. And I understand it gets a little murky from there we've got face changes and we got people back from the dead we got dogs and cats <laughs> living together but i'll tell you what the fact is jack locked Gigi morasco in that basement and that's unlawful imprisonment it is and you know it now whether his actions led directly to stacy's death you know i'm gonna let the da decide that one but if i had to guess considering all the things that this kid's done he's got a price to pay and you know what it'll be good for him you have something to say? Say it. You asked me something before. You wanted to know if I was glad you were okay. And I just, I wanted to say I am. I never meant for anyone to get hurt, and I'm sorry. For what? For locking me up or for everything you did to Shane? For all of it. Well, you can tell that to my sister. Come on, Shane. I'm really sorry. Why are you sorry? You have Gigi back. You should be overjoyed. No, I am. I just wish it didn't come at a cost to you. What cost? I came out ahead. Well, because you dodged a bullet and didn't end up with the crazy guy who sees ghosts. <laughs> no, because I did. I made a good friend. And I proved to myself that there really are good guys out there. So maybe if I keep my eyes open and I'm really extra lucky, I will end up with one just like you. You'll find one better. You want me to break you out? I have a plan. All right, first, you need a disguise. Can you get your hands on a laundry service uniform? You have totally lost it. I need your help. I'm not going to make it in here. I'm too pretty for prison. And I should care why? I am your brother! You were my brother when you got me locked up and left me to rot. You never wrote. You never even called, but you know what? That's okay, because I'm a big girl. I've been abandoned before. I can make up for that. How? I can make things right between you and Clint. I, I, I bet he'll come running when, when he finds out how I messed things up between you guys. By forging a letter telling him I was dumping him? Yeah, he already knows. So you get back together? Nope. I was too late. Clint had already moved on. Well, there you are. We're starting to worry about you. You were? You don't look all that worried. Oh, don't change the subject. Where have you been, young man? At the police station. Oh, oh I hope you didn't go there to stick it to Joe. No. But you might want to sit down. It's important. Oh, dear. You ready? Shane, just tell us. Mom? Don't be mad at him. I just wanted to make sure you weren't going to have a heart attack. Gigi? Is it really you? Yeah, it's really me. 